Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. and I make videos all about making and selling candles. And today's video is everybody's favorite topic, which is increased shipping prices with the USPS. And I also wanted to talk about Pirate Ship adding on UPS as an option when you are printing out shipping labels. So if this is your first year in business or you aren't used to shipping out packages during this time of the year, typically what the USPS does between the early part of October up until the late part of December is they do a temporary price increase. Um, these increases really aren't that much. I can read them off to you right now and I can add a link in the description box below in case you guys wanna see a little bit more in depth of the price increases. And they say they are temporary, but they really are are only temporary for a short amount of time after that. So they will bring the prices back down after the end of, I think, December 26th. But then again, in 2022, they end up raising the prices back up again, I think mid January, mid to late January. So it's really only an additional few weeks after that, that the prices go back down. I don't know why they do this. Uh, they've just been doing this as of lately over the past few years. Um, I actually don't know if they've done this every single year or if it's just previously. I know they always do a price increase at the beginning of the year, um, but I can't remember how long they've been doing this temporary holiday increase. And I'm sure, you know, last year with the whole uh, pandemic and everything that happened throughout the year, that was probably the craziest year I've ever personally seen as somebody who has been selling online for the past four to five years. That was the craziest I have ever seen during that holiday time. I mean, I would keep track and some people wouldn't get their packages for three to four weeks. So that is definitely something we as business owners have to take into consideration during this time of year and just understand and know that these things are going to happen. There's going to be really slow shipping times. Packages are going to be lost. So just know that going into it so it's not a surprise when it happens. So real fast, before I get into anything else, I wanted to go over the temporary increases and I get all of my information from Pirate Ship and they get it directly from USPS. I just like the way that they have it laid out. I tried looking on USPS, but for some reason it's just, they don't have it as user friendly and I really love the way that Pirate Ship does it. So this is from October 3rd to December 26th. So this just happened. Um, and basically they're saying that first class packages are going to increase by 30 cents. So again, it's really not that big of an increase. Priority Mail Cubic, which is what I use all, all the time, um, is going to increase between 25 cents and 75 cents based on the zone that you are shipping it to. Um, Priority Mail Flat Rate and Priority Mail Express Flat Rate are increasing to 75 cents per package that you are shipping out. So for instance, if you are used to um, shipping out something in let's say a padded flat rate envelope, typically it's been $8 flat and for the next, you know, couple of months, it's going to be $8.75. And then for Priority Mail, Priority Mail Express, and Parcel Select Ground, it's going to increase between $0.25 cents and $5 based on the zone and the weight of the package. And then for Priority Mail Regional Rate, which I use a lot and I know a lot of you guys use that a lot, it's going to increase between $0.25 cents and 75 cents based on if you are using the regional rate A, the regional rate B, and the zones that you are shipping to. So honestly, this shouldn't come as too much of a surprise. Prices are going to increase every year. Honestly, I have no idea how much they are going to inevitably increase to. I can only imagine in the next 15, 20 years, is it gonna cost you know, 18, 20, $25 to ship out a small candle? Who knows? We don't know how much it's actually going to increase. Um, and with inflation and all that going on, I have honestly no idea how much the world is going to be in the next 20, 30, 40 years. I can't even imagine. Um, but this is what we are working with right now. So I wanted to bring that up for you guys just in case you were not aware or if you were confused and you went to ship out a package over the past couple days and you've noticed that uh, you are paying a lot more than what you had before. This is a very common thing that happens. And also another common thing that happens is of course, 
during the holiday time, there is going to be so many more packages being shipped out. So many more workers are working their butts off, working overtime, trying to get those packages out. So I know that it's frustrating for us as business owners because we have a business to run. We don't want them messing with our packages, losing our packages, having our packages show up two, three weeks after what they were supposed to. So everybody collectively, the customer, us as a business owner, and these postal workers kind of all have to understand each other and work together. And I know that that's hard to do um, because when you're focused on your life and how it's affecting you, that's pretty much what we always focus on. But also try to remember, remember that a lot of these workers are working through Thanksgiving, working through holidays that we're able to spend with our families, working over time trying to get these packages out because it is just a crazy influx. And last year, again, was the craziest I had ever seen it before. And I can only imagine with, you know, COVID and all that, and they had less employees working. I'm hoping that this year, whatever protocols, whatever things they have going on, that they do have more workers. I haven't really looked into it, um, but I'm hoping they have more workers than last year and that everything will run at least smoother than it did last year because again, last year was just, eh, that was crazy. But in terms of what we can do as business owners, I recommend for you guys to, as much as you can, put an announcement, put whatever you need to, notes, put, write it on directly on the product page, whatever it is, let your customers know that shipping times will be much slower than usual due to a higher demand for the holiday time and that postal workers are going to be in control of the delivery times and just to make that clear for anybody, especially when it comes closer to Christmas time, we wanna let everybody know we are not in charge as much as everybody for some reason thinks that we are also the post office, we are not. <laughs> we can only control dropping it off at the post office and that is all we can control. That time frame from the time that the order comes in to how we package it up to make sure that it's protected through all the chaotic throwing everything around um, up until we drop it off at the post office. So that is, we are hands off. That is all you know we know. But we also have to remember as hands off as we are, we also have to remember that we have to put ourselves in the shoes of the person that is purchasing from us. So that's why a lot of times I will make as many you know, posts as I need to, announcements, letting them know of slower times. Um, and even if I have sent out a lot of packages and it's been a week, I'll try to go through and make sure that everybody has received their package. And if they haven't, I'll try to look into it to see if it looks like it is either stuck somewhere, if it says anything weird, like it was lost or something like that, um, or if it's just showing arriving late and it's getting closer to that destination. Um, I have reached out before in the past to people when it's been like a crazy amount of time over, I think a week and a half, two weeks out, and I've had people reach out to me, I'll look into it, and I have to write myself notes and just check on the order to make sure that they are actually going to be getting their package in time. It's kind of like a catch-22, at this time of the year, we get excited about more sales, but the more sales causes more issues with potential um, items breaking during transit, items not arriving, items being dropped off at the wrong location. So as business owners, we do have to be aware of that and know ahead of time um, and just handle every situation as it comes. Don't get stressed out over it. Just know that it's inevitable. Know that you might have to refund people. You might have to ship out new items just to make sure that people are happy because with the increases of sales that you are potentially going to be getting at this time of the year, um, you wanna make sure that you are taking care of all of your customers so that they will wanna purchase from you again, knowing how you handle situations in really chaotic times like the holiday season. And also the last thing that I wanted to mention in this video is that Pirate Ship just announced at the beginning of this month that they are now offering you you to purchase UPS labels directly through their website. So if you are not familiar with what Pirate Ship is, I have made a few videos in the past about it, but essentially what Pirate Ship is, is it's just an online website where you are able to purchase shipping labels directly from them. And they do give you a lot of discounts that you can't get if you are, let's say, going directly into a uh, post office location 
or even if you go on the USPS website, there are still some discounts. I've had some people say, well, it's the same price. Um, there's discounts such as the simple export rate, which you can get a lot of big discounts for international shipping, as well as the Priority Mail Cubic, which I use all the time. You can't just walk into a USPS location and ask for Priority Mail Cubic. They are not gonna give it to you, um, so I just, prefer to go through pirate ship for everything. And I'm really excited that they added the option of UPS shipping because you have the option to really get the best discounts for whatever box you are shipping in. And also I'm curious to know, because I know that USPS is really good for larger, heavier packages that UPS uh, or that USPS is not. So I'm really curious to see the discounts that they can offer once I cross my fingers, get a wholesale client that um, is potentially in another state and I have to ship it out to them. So I'm curious how that's gonna work with the discounts that I can get using UPS versus USPS. And I do already have a video plan for you guys. I really want to make an entire video. I've had a lot of you guys curious just about the step-by-step -step process of actually printing out a shipping label. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning to share with you guys my thoughts when it comes to packaging up a, a candle. So having your size candle, how I measure it to find the kind of box that I would ship it in. And then from that size box, how I would know how much to charge the customer based on which location they are living in and just kind of looking into the averages of that, going through and showing you in like step-by-step -step detail of a um, me going on to Pirate Ship, putting in the details of where I'm shipping it to and then showing you the prices that come up and doing that a few times to share with you guys. I think it's gonna be helpful to visually see that because I know that a lot of times people are just like, okay, like, I don't know how to go about the shipping. Like the shipping is always very difficult. And that's something that ever since I was a reseller on eBay, I've been very comfortable with. Um, so that's why I've made so many videos in the past about shipping and I will continue to make videos about shipping because I think that there's so much to it that cannot be answered in just one video. So I think that that will be helpful for you guys. Um, but with that, I will probably end today's video right here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up. Up, as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.